Hello, I'm OBX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a fishing tutorial for Minecraft, and this might seem a bit unnecessary because of just how easy fishing is in Minecraft. Put the rod in the water, wait till the things happen, but the reality is the last update did change it massively to add a bunch of behind the scenes complexity. It went from having one drop to having more than 20. They introduced enchantments to the mix, and also there are now really rare, really cool things that you might want to get, like name tags and like enchanted books. And today's video is going to be teaching you about all of that stuff and how to get those rare things that you might want to get. So I'd very much appreciate a like on it if you do like it because it helps out the channel and lets me do like these technical tutorials but let's get straight into it already shall we so let's start by explaining uh what the new fishing changes outside you know the ones i just mentioned because one of the big fishing changes they made is they made it so that when you actually put your rod in the water and you actually get it to float like i'm having problems to right now uh basically you'll actually see there's a slight difference in the animation before it used to just be your you know thing would bob underwater when it's you know caught by an imaginary fish now to make it a bit more realistic they made it so bubbles will appear nearby and then you'll actually see a trail go towards it you saw it there but it was inside the block it's really glitchy when you have a small pond but basically, you know, it's kind of simulating a fish biting on and then kind of chasing you. It's pretty cool in that way. But yeah, that's how uh, they changed the fishing animation. But the big change is the one to the loot. And you might be like, okay, there's 20 flush drops. How is that possible? So here's a list of drops that fishing used to have in, you know, TU, you know, 30 or, you know, 1.6. Here you can see it's, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not too great, right? You got your raw fish and, uh, it's kind of empty space. Whereas after the update, you know, in the current version of the game, this is the number of drops you can get. That's right. Every single thing in this chest can be gone from a drop, even the fishing rod even the enchanted fishing rod every single thing in here so you might be questioning how is there so many drops and if there is so many drops why is it when i go fishing i still usually get this raw fish right here like sometimes i'll get a salmon but why don't i get this other stuff so basically as of this update they changed it into being three categories of stuff you can get from fishing uh, I, I i won't say kind of like real life but it's not entirely like that basically you have an 85 percent chance of getting fish and then that's subdivided between the four fish you have a 50 uh, a 10 percent chance of getting yourself some junk and the junk is the stuff you usually don't want like a bowl or like leather boots and then you have a 5% chance or a 1 in 20 chance of getting treasure and treasure is the stuff you really want so it's stuff like the enchanted book it's stuff like the saddle it's stuff like the lily pad, which, you know, you actually don't want, but it's stuff like the name tag that you actually really do want to get your hands on. So exactly, uh, you know, why is it divided like that? And, you know, what are my odds of getting, you know, the particular things I want? So your odds of getting any one drop is usually about 1% if it's not a fish. If it's a fish, it's a little bit higher. Your odds of getting the regular fish are slightly higher than half. So when you like, uh, when you put your line out with an unenchanted fishing rod, you get, you have about 50% chance of getting a regular fish. Then, you know, again, it, it divides by 85%, 10%, uh, 5% across the three categories. But uh, yeah, basically after all those three categories, categories are picked, it picks which one is there inside the category. So, uh, again, you're most likely to get fish, uh, you know, the regular fish inside the fish category, but then you have a 25% chance in that category to get the salmon, uh, and then a 2% chance for the clownfish, and a 13% chance for the pufferfish. And um, what this basically boils down to is every, you know, type of fish has a very specific possibility, but there are things that are more likely than others. You have, you know, a 70% chance of getting either fish or salmon, and that's why when you go fishing and you put your line out, you usually find fish and salmon, despite there being more than 20 drops. So, that's all fine dandy toy cat i get what you're saying but how do i get the good drops i want i want to get name tags i don't care about salmon i have enough food in my world so yeah the the the, the real answer to this one is you need to get an enchantment on your uh, on your uh, rods <laughs> not your bow uh, yeah you want to get enchantments on your uh, your rod because uh, you know enchantments are one of the big new changes they made to fishing that are hard to understand because you read luck of the sea and you're like that must improve my odds of getting what I want. And then you read something like uh, law, and you must be like, that, I don't know, maybe makes fish come better. And uh, there's a little bit of truth to that, but it's kind of complex. So the way it works is, like I mentioned, there's the 85 um, 5 10 split between, uh, you know, fish, junk, and uh, fish, treasure, and junk, uh, you know, that actually does that. And basically, these two enchantments alter that. So every level you add to it kind of changes it. Uh, with luck of the sea, every level uh, decreases the chance of junk by 2.5%. So by the time you have level 3, your chance of junk is just 2.5%, which means your odds of getting. Uh, you know, any treasure actually goes up. So uh, by default, you usually have about a one in, you know, like it's something ridiculous. Like it's, uh, you know, one in like 120 chance of getting a name tag or getting an enchanted rod or getting a bow. But as of having, a, if you have a luck of the sea free, it doesn't go up too much, but it goes down to something like, you know, one in 70, which is much more manageable. That's, uh, you know, like roughly half. And basically, yeah, that's what luck of the sea does. It decreases your chance of junk, which means if you want to get this specific junk down here, you want to make sure you don't have luck of the sea. But if you want anything else, if you want to get the treasure, Luck of the sea is for you. And lure, you know, you might be like, so what does lore do then? Lore uh, basically will decrease your chance of both junk and treasure by 1%. And you might be like, why would I want to do that? It's so you can actually have a better chance of getting fish. Because although you get a slightly better chance of getting fish with luck of the sea, if you have lore on your uh, on your rod, it actually goes up quite a bit. And if you have both of these on your rod at once, then, you know, kind of the percentages go really weird. But it basically means you have your best chance of getting, uh, you know, fish with either just a lore uh, fishing rod or with lore and luck of the sea. So yeah, if you want to get any specific type of fish, if you're really craving a puffer fish because you 
you want to make a water breathing potion, then you want to have either both of these enchantments or just lure. If you want to get any one of these treasures, it's about a 1 in 120 chance by default, which isn't, you know, it's, it, it's going to take you a while, or about a 1 in 70 chance if you have uh, Luck of the Sea on your rod. So, you know, much, much improved, but still kind of terrible. You're going to have to go fishing for quite some time, even with the right enchantment. And then finally, if you want to get junk, you might be like, so what enchantment do I need then? There actually isn't an enchantment you want then. If you want to get junk, the best odds are by default. So, yeah, basically there are three fishing rods you need, depending on which situation you're in. This is the fishing rod for getting fish, this is the fishing rod for getting treasure, and this is the fishing rod for getting junk. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, basically the pro tip here. Hopefully this did help you out in some way. Uh, the percentages are really, really complex. Uh, there's, you know, even inside each category, it kind of breaks down weirdly. Like I mentioned, you're way more likely to get fish in this category than you are to get salmon. You're way more likely to get salmon than you are to get puffer fish, which is more likely than uh, clownfish by a massive amount. And uh, the only thing I will say to bear in mind is you might have looked at some of these drops and be like, ooh, they look pretty good. Uh, the best drop in here, which I'd say is ink sack, that's the best uh, junk drop, is the least likely. It's one tenth as likely as any of these other ones. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Uh, they have slightly different odds. The stick and the string have a 6% chance versus the 12% chance of all of these versus the 1.2% chance of this and versus the 2.4% chance of the fishing rod. Again, I'm just throwing numbers at you right now. The key things to bear in mind, you're most likely to get, um, you know, this, then you're most likely to get that, then you're most likely to get that still, then you're most likely to get the junk, then you're most likely to get clownfish, then it's the sticks, and then it's all of that. So hopefully all of those words I just said made some amount of sense to you. If it didn't, then, um, you know, you can like the video anyway. Maybe it'll make sense come to you. No, but in all seriousness, uh, yeah, hopefully the video did help you out in some way. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll try to, you know, answer them the best I can, because this is a very tricky subject to mention. Uh, you know, percentages just kind of gel in my head, but to all of you, you might be like, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, those, those words made sense. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd very much like to help you in the comments down below if you're having difficulty with it, because fishing is one of the really fun parts of the game. As of this update, it's something you can just do and do and do, and it will actually surprise you. If you're looking for a name tag, you can have a lot of fun going on the way, because you might find some leather boots. You might be like, you know what? Well, I'm actually wearing boots right now, but you know, I don't have any boots. Why don't we put the leather boots on? And it's a nice little thing like that. You might find an enchantment you're not looking for and be like, yeah, I'd love Efficiency 5. Let's put that on my, uh, I don't know, my bow. And uh, that's a terrible idea. But, you know, the, the, the things you can find make it really fun. And I love that there's a brand new random elements of the game. Most people don't go fishing that often because they're still scarred by the old system. But give it a try. See if you enjoy it. And that's my ultimate piece of advice for the video. So I hope you did all enjoy the video. If you did like it, please do like it and let me know. Share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around. Here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, and if you make it, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Uh, there's a bunch of videos still going out because the big update did just come out for Minecraft console. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe or even just check them out because uh, it's what I've been spending basically all my days doing. So thank you all very much for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.